doing it. So in this example, again, we're doing a composition of functions. And so I look to do sine inverse of negative 1 third, and then I quickly come into a problem. I say, wait a minute, that point's not on the unit circle, right? So I wouldn't like pick an answer that says no solution. I'd say, well, let me work through this a second. Because again, where does the unit circle come from? How did we create the unit circle? We created the unit circle based on triangles, right? The trigonometric functions, guys, are all on triangles. We just use the unit circle to make a lot of what we do easier to understand and to you know, evaluate. But again, guys, we could do everything that we've been doing with actually using special right triangles. So, in this case, well, the sine inverse, again, now what are we asking ourselves? What are we trying to find? If I was trying to evaluate this, we're trying to find a what? Angle, angle right? But the question is not actually to find the angle. Because the question is saying, this is asking you to find the angle, right? Which we don't, which we don't know because it's not on the unit circle. But then it's saying, well, once you find the angle, whatever that is, then I want you to take the tangent of it. So let's just kind of make sense. The, Sine inverse of negative 1 over 3, let's think about that. If I said the sine of some number is equal to negative 1 over 3, right, then we could say theta is equal to sine inverse of, 1 over, of negative 1 over 3. Correct? So what this negative 1 over 3, guys, is the opposite over the hypotenuse. You guys agree with me? Yeah. So why don't we just draw a triangle, see what this looks like. Now, we have something that's important that's going on. This is negative, right? So that's your hypotenuse, and this is a negative 1. Is that really a good description of that triangle? No. Now, if we have negative, we know that constraints matter, right? So we're going to have to draw this with a negative sign. Now, the question comes into, should I draw the angle like this or like that? Remember before we gave like a restriction? We said like cosine had to be less than 0 or tangent, right? But do we already know which quadrant this has to be in? Yeah, because the sine inverse we know is restricted to the first and the fourth quadrant. So it has to be this triangle. So we're not even going to draw that one. Good. So here's our theta. Here is negative 1. Here's 3. Now, can I find the tangent of this triangle? Yeah, because that's a question from the first day of this chapter. Find the tangent. So you find the missing side. So we'll just go to. 3 squared equals negative 1 squared plus, I don't know, what, x? x squared. So we get 9 equals 1 plus x squared. x squared equals 8. Square root, square root, simplify. x equals 2 radical 2. So therefore, the tangent, in this case, is opposite over adjacent. Negative 1 over 2 radical 2. And if I rationalize my denominator, I would get negative square root of 2. Square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay. Now, we can actually even get more abstract than that. 